chair is pleased to recognize the gentleman from North Carolina, uh, Mr. Butterfield, for your five minutes to question. Thank you very much, Madam Chair, and thank you, Mr. Secretary, for your testimony today. It's it's good to see you, Mr. Secretary. I, I have great memories of our work when you served here in Congress, even have great memories of our travel uh, when you when you served with us in, in this body. I, I particularly, particularly remember when we accompanied President Obama to Charleston for the funeral of the Charleston Nine, and so I appreciate your friendship and appreciate your work. Uh, over the years, Mr. Secretary, I've been really, really alarmed about the growing mental health and substance abuse disorder crisis facing facing our families. I've, I'm, I'm very grateful that the administration has taken action to address the growing mental health and substance abuse disorders. Uh, in the midst of COVID, Congress provided nearly $9 billion to states and to tribes and communities to respond to emergency mental health and substance use needs through the appropriations, through the CARES Act and the American Rescue Plan. The 23 budget would build on those efforts, providing $2.9 billion for mental health, $6.6 billion for prevention and treatment efforts within the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. My question is, what activities and communities does the administration intend to target with these increased resources and why? Congressman, first, thank you for the earlier mention of the friendship, and, and I hope to continue to work with you on any number of these subjects, but certainly on this one, because the president has made it clear uh, he intends to uh, deploy game-changing resources and investments to make sure we tackle the mental health and behavioral health crisis. I mentioned the 988 uh, lifeline that we hope to launch in mid-July that will let anyone who's suffering a mental or behavioral health crisis uh, to be able to reach to someone who can offer them help. We're gonna do much more when it comes to uh, drug uh, overdose uh, problems that we've seen. When, when over 100,000 Americans are dying in one year from d drug overdose, we know we, we have to tackle the opioid and drug overdose crisis. And we're gonna do everything we can to help children because we know COVID has exposed the, the belly of, a, of what we see as a true uh, problem with mental health being uh, experienced by our youngest uh, Americans, and so we're gonna do everything we can to focus on that. I'm engaged right now in a national tour visiting states throughout the country to try to highlight what the president is hoping to do in his budget. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Let, let me just ask you this. Uh, let me ask you about the proposed crisis care set aside and the prevention and early intervention set aside in the mental health block grant, uh, as well as the proposed recovery support services set aside and substance abuse block grant. Why do you believe these programs are important and can they have flexibility to meet the needs of our citizens? Congressman, as I said earlier, uh, prevention is far better and more effective and, and better for the dollar than is remediation. If you wait till someone has a real crisis, it costs a lot more money, just like going into an emergency room, than it does in trying to prevent someone from getting to the point of suffering a crisis. So we wanna interdict where possible, we want to intervene where we can, and what we want to do is let families know that we want to be their shoulder sh and sh shoulder to shoulder with them as they try to address these crises, especially for these children. Thank you. I have time for one more, Mr. Secretary. Since 2015, I've worked on a bipartisan basis to expand access to disposable wound therapy for Medicare patients receiving home health care. In 2015, we successfully created a new Medicare benefit to this effect. Unfortunately, the way this benefit was implemented makes it extremely difficult for patients to access this technology. To fix this, uh, Mr. Mullen and I introduced legislation that would make technical corrections. Would you be so kind as to commit to work with us on this proposal so that it, so that it can make it to the president's desk before the end of this Congress? You have my commitment, Congressman, to work with you to see where we can go with the legislation. Thank you, Secretary Becerra. I yield back, Madam Chair. Yeah. 